This footage shows a woman coming back home on a cool evening with her baby. She likely didn't know that she was followed by a man from afar. The man times his movement to not arouse suspicion from the woman. As the woman entered her home, you can see the man rush to catch up to her. But luckily, she was right on time to lock her door. We go back to 2022 when a Reddit user uploaded some unsettling footage captured on their doorbell camera, which was captioned, Zombies on your brain. The video opens with a young man in a bandana, covered in what seems to be either dirt or blood, repeatedly slamming his body into the front door of a house. On his third attempt to force the door open, he appears to knock himself out after colliding head first. The impact causes him to stumble backward, eventually collapsing over the porch railing and toppling a decorative ornament in the process, groaning in pain. He struggles to raise his arms and lift his legs, seemingly attempting to regain his balance. The footage abruptly ends, leaving viewers wondering what happened next. Many Redditors speculated that the young man was likely under the influence of powerful drugs, which might explain his erratic movements and aggressive behavior. Others suggested he may have suffered a seizure after hitting his head on the door. With no additional information provided, though, the truth remains a mystery. After that night, the homeowner reported never seeing the man again. Another homeowner was startled awake by a phone notification indicating movement at his front door. When he reviewed the footage, he was met with an eerie sight, a frail older woman clutching a knife, standing still on his porch. She swayed slightly, shifting her weight from one side to the other. The footage captured her nervously gripping and examining the knife while glancing around her surroundings. After a few moments, she seemed to try pressing the doorbell but hesitated. failing to make contact. The video cut off after two minutes, leaving the woman's identity and motives unknown. In another daytime doorbell camera recording, a young man, likely in his 20s, is seen going door-to-door -door selling candy. The footage captures a homeowner opening the door, engaging in a seemingly normal transaction with the man. However, shortly afterward, Three other men emerge holding weapons and enter the home. They take advantage of the open door to rob the woman, quickly taking some of her belongings and fleeing the scene. The man selling candy was apparently part of a pre-planned scheme to gain the homeowner's trust and lure her into opening the door. <laughs> only for his accomplices to enter and rob her at gunpoint. Notably, earlier footage from a nearby house shows the same man attempting to sell candy at other homes, though this time, the suspicious homeowners did not open their doors. 
None of the men involved in the robbery were ever apprehended by authorities. This one happened on November 30th, 2021. A Twitter user from Dallas posted about a recurring visitor. Her doorbell camera captured footage of a strange man standing near her apartment almost every night for an entire month. According to her tweet, she had contacted local authorities, but the man continued to show up. The footage showed him standing eerily still for an extended period of time, as if waiting for her to step outside. At one point, he could be heard muttering something barely inaudible. The unsettling behavior hinted at intentions that were far from harmless. The disturbing footage quickly went viral, and concerned viewers checked in on the woman to ensure her safety. Two days later, she updated followers, explaining that her family and friends had confronted the man and that security personnel were monitoring her residence. Many urged her to remain vigilant warning that he might return. Since her last update in December 2021, the man's identity has not been revealed, nor have there been further developments yet. In San Diego, another homeowner was alerted by his doorbell when a presumed door-to-door -door salesman appeared on his porch. Watching through his phone, the homeowner used the doorbell's speaker to question the man who claimed to be looking for a residence he'd gotten wrong. The homeowner politely corrected him, prompting an apology from the salesman. The Robinson's residence at 712? Uh, no, you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, I apologize for that. However, suspicious of the exchange, the homeowner submitted the footage to local law enforcement, who informed him that this individual was actually suspected of impersonating a salesman to gain access to homes. Police suspected him of committing at least 19 burglaries in the area, yet he remained at large. Another disturbing incident from March 7, 2019, shows footage of a man pouring an entire container of colored fuel on a front porch, attempting to ignite a fire with it with a lighter. After several failed attempts, he eventually gave up and left. It was later discovered that he had mistakenly used diesel instead of gasoline. While gasoline is highly flammable, diesel is less volatile, sparing the home and the would-be arsonist from a potential disaster. Inside the home were a mother and her two children. After watching the footage, the terrified mother called the police who later identified and arrested the man living nearby. The woman claimed she didn't know him and couldn't fathom why he wanted to harm her family. When questioned, the man reportedly said he was trying to ward off a ghost, suggesting he may have been under the influence of a substance. Ultimately, he was charged with attempted homicide and arson. Subscribe to support us and always lock up your doors.